Hello everybody, um, this is Mr. Pritchard. Um, this is uh, the, the latest in my hub um, videos that I'm going to show you. Um, in my early one, I showed you how to log in and I showed you how to access some of the Office 365 tools. Today, we're going to have a look at some of the Just Too Easy tools, which is over here. Now, when I click on uh, Just Too Easy, or J2E as it's called, um, it will bring up a lot of different uh, areas. Now, some of these lots of children will have used in class before. Some of them they may not have. Because it's in Hub, it's a safe place for them to look at. They're free to use any of these tools and play around with them to get their heads around them as they will. Okay. The one I want to concentrate on today is this one here, JIT5. Okay. Now, JIT5 um, is more suitable, really, for younger learners. There's a writing tool, there's a, a painting tool, and a very simple animation tool that they can use too. When you open it, it looks like this, and it automatically connects to the writing tool, which is this one here. The other options that you have then are across the top here, and we'll come into those um, a bit later on. But for now, we're just concentrating on the writing tool. So the first thing you can do is add a template to your writing page, which is this white section here, okay? So your child can choose one of these um, options here. There is a way, I think, to scroll down on these, um, but you can have a look at that. If I didn't like any of these, if I wanted to write about something that I don't have a picture of, I can find a picture, okay? So I go to pictures here. I click on um, the Google search button, which is this one here. And then I would enter my search uh, criteria. So if I wanted to write about a cat today, I would just search here. I should say that while I'm making these videos, lots and lots of other teachers are making them. So the sites, Hub, Purple Mash and CISA are all very, very busy at the moment. So that's why it's taking a bit longer than, than it usually would. So anyway, um, I found a picture of a cat. I like that one. So I'm going with that one there. It takes a few seconds then to put that picture into my uh, document. And then once it's there, I can start writing. Um, so if I wanted to write about cats, I'd write, I like cats. The other thing I can do is change the size of my writing. I can change the color of my writing. And I can change the font. The other useful tool here is the top words tool. So again, for younger children who might find uh, some of these words tricky, um, they can uh, find the words, maybe try to spell them out themselves. And by clicking them, Mom. it will tell you what the word is. Look. So as you see, if, if I hover my, my mouse over the word for here, it gives that little speech bubble. And if I click on the speech bubble, Four. It will tell you what the word is. All right. If I double click on it, you can see over here, it's putting that word in my document. Okay. Once I finish my writing, I can click on the speech bubble here. I like cats. And it will read what you've written, which is very handy. The other thing to remember is that this is um, a safe tool. It's within Hub, so nobody else can access it or anything like that, okay? Once your child has finished what they've made, they will need to save it. And that's that save button over here, okay? Something I should have added before that, actually, is to give that, um, give that document a title because we would do that, wouldn't we, if we were saving something in Word. So try to get your children into the habit of giving uh, each document they save a name, okay? So once I've called that cats, I'm gonna save it again, just so that it is called cats. Now, when I go back to my uh, JIT5 page and I refresh it, what should happen then is that that should appear in my file. So if I go to my files here, the file that I've saved is there. 